You were wearing goggles, a helmet. Yes. Okay, kind of looked like everybody else on the slope. That's always my intention. Okay. Probably had a better ski outfit, though, I bet. <laughs> I still have the same one. <laughs> I just have one. Okay. Actress Gwyneth Paltrow is currently on trial over a 2016 accident that happened on a Park Valley, Utah ski slope. Now, a retired doctor is alleging that she crashed into him and caused some pretty serious physical damage as a result. She claims otherwise. Gwyneth Paltrow says, no, 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 he crashed into me. Now, I want to be clear about something. I don't know what the reality is, and I'm not going to opine on that at all. The whole point of talking about the trial is to comment on the plaintiff's attorney here. Now, while Terry Sanderson initially launched a legal action against Paltrow for $3.1 million, Terry Sanderson, of course, is the doctor that is alleging that he has physical and mental damage as a result of that accident. It was reduced to $300,000. He says he was left with permanent traumatic brain injury, four broken ribs, pain, suffering, loss of enjoyment of life, emotional distress, and disfigurement after a full body hit by Paltrow. She is countersuing him for $1 and claims that he's the one who ran into her and that the only reason why he's suing her is because he knows that she is a wealthy and famous celebrity. Now, with those details out of the way, which again, we don't know what the truth is, I'm not gonna adjudicate that. We should go to Jank because he really wants to comment. Yeah, so you're gonna see the lawyer do some really weird stuff here. But afterwards, I'm gonna explain why she's oh, doing okay, what she's Okay, Columbia doing. School, oh, okay, oh, oh, Columbia no, University, yeah, all right, yeah, relax, Columbia Mr. Law lawyer. School, by the way. Yeah, Sorry, not a big deal, not a big deal. No, I'm just okay. mentioning. <laughs> all right, so with that said, <laughs> uh, let's go to the first video showing the man's lawyer questioning Gwyneth Paltrow. He has deterred you from enjoying the rest of what was a very expensive vacation. Well, I lost half a day of skiing. Uh-huh. Yes. Right. Okay. May I ask how tall you are? I'm just under 5'10". Okay. I am so jealous. I think I'm shrinking, though. You and me both. I have to wear four-inch heels just to make it to 5'5". Five five, well, so. They're very nice. Well, thank you. I was yelling at him. Pretty loud. Pretty forceful. I was pretty upset. Right? You're yeah. small but mighty. Actually, you're not that small. Um, so, and you're not trained in accident reconstruction. Me? Yeah. No. Neither am I. All right. Um, are you good I... friends with Taylor Swift? No. Overruled? You're not good friends with Taylor Swift. I would not say we're good friends. We are. Friendly, I take my kids. I've taken my kids to one of her concerts before, but we don't talk very often. Oof, oof, little frenemy action with Taylor Swift and Gwen Paltrow. <laughs> my favorite part of that video was the very beginning, where she's like, "Well, I did lose half a day of skiing." <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> like, anyway, slow down Gwen Paltrow, but uh, so look. Uh, everybody's a buzz about this because the lawyer seems to be so weirdly friendly. Smitten with, Gwyneth, with her. Yeah, with Gwyneth Paltrow. Like people are wondering if she fell in love. <laughs> right? Okay, no, no. So look, it, it, it was a little over the top right, for sure, okay? But there's good reasons why the lawyer might be doing this. One, you wanna disarm the person that you're uh, cross-examining, right? And you wanna get certain things on the record. So when so she talked about how tall she is, oh, I'm so jealous you're so tall. She's trying to say, hey, later, my guess is she'll make the argument, Gwyneth Paltrow is kind of big, right? And so when she ran into my client, she did a lot of damage. That's why she's with the, oh, you're small and mighty. Oh, You're not even small, you're large and mighty. So she's, it looks like she's setting up for that kind of closing statement. I right? know, but we also all know, because she has disclosed it, what Gwyneth Paltrow's daily diet consists of. Uh, consists of a fast, of course, right? She does mm. the intermittent fasting. Yep. Starts her day. Her first meal is black coffee, which isn't a meal. Uh, her second meal is bone broth, which also isn't a meal. And her third meal is vegetables. I'm not even kidding. She said that in a yeah. podcast. Well, okay, good. That makes me uh, then not at all envious of her incredible wealth and celebrity. I know, okay, she's totally wasting it. I don't want it. that life. No, she's wasting it. Yeah. But my point is, she's incredibly thin 
And like this argument, I don't think is gonna work, but I don't know, we'll see. But that's what she's setting up for. Now, right. in the part we didn't show you, she also was joking around about how good Gwyneth Paltrow looks on the uh, on the ski slopes, right? And then, and so you wear the same kind of goggles and stand. And then, but there was a reason she was doing that, because what she was setting up for, I think, again, is, um, well, you look like anybody else out there, right? How could anybody even know that you were Gwyneth Paltrow? So if the idea is, hey, my client runs into you on purpose so that he could sue you, well, how would he even know? You had goggles on and you look like everyone else. She does it in a super over the top friendly way so Paltrow is disarmed and she's, and by the way, I think it worked because Paltrow's giggling yeah. and saying yes to everything that the lawyer is saying. Maybe the lawyer is a genius. No, I'm telling you, because especially with someone like Gwyneth Paltrow, they're used to being fluffed. So if you go into fluffing mode, she's like, oh yeah, oh, I like this person. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of person I hire. Okay, says all the nice things about me. Oh yeah, it's true, I'm tall and mighty and no one could tell it was me. You're totally right, okay? so. Withhold judgment on the lawyer until we see the end of this case. She really is eating it up though. Yeah. Okay, I know that we don't do this often, but I can't help myself. Can we watch that video again? Oh, fine, Just one sure. more time, because I wanna watch it with a more informed eye, considering uh, the lawyer expert next to us has explained what the strategy is here. No okay. big deal. Though. All right, let's watch. He has deterred you from enjoying the rest of what was a very expensive vacation. Well, I lost half a day of skiing. Uh-huh. Yes. Right. Okay. May I ask how tall you are? I'm just under 5'10". Okay, I am so jealous. I think I'm shrinking though. <laughs> you and me both. I have to wear four inch heels just to make it to 5'5". Five five, well, so. They're very nice. Well, thank you. I was yelling at him. Pretty loud, pretty was, forceful. I was pretty upset. Right, you're yeah. small but mighty. Actually, you're not that small. Um, so, and you're not trained in accident reconstruction. Me? Yeah. No. Neither am I. All right. Um, are you good I... friends with Taylor Swift? No. Overruled? You're not good friends with Taylor Swift. I would not say we're good friends. We are friendly. I take my kids, I've taken my kids to one of her concerts before, but we don't talk very often. It's amazing. I think you're right. I think you're right. I have to add some more context though, because after that last bizarre moment involving Taylor Swift and whether or not they're buddies, um, apparently the lawyer asked if Paltrow had ever given Taylor Swift an intimate gift for Christmas, and she was likely referring to uh, a goop video in which. Paltrow suggests giving a vibrator as a present for Swift, uh, but apparently the judge shut that line of questioning down. Damn. I don't know how that's relevant, I, but anyway. Didn't Taylor Swift counter sue for a dollar just like Gwyneth Paltrow is doing? I thought maybe that's why she was bringing it up. But anyway, yeah, the, I agree with the judge. I think if I was a judge, I'd let almost all the evidence in. I think they exclude way too much evidence. But what does the vibrator have to do with this story, okay, in this case, nothing. So <laughs> anyways, uh, look guys, for all of this like theatrics, this is the easiest case in the world. Who ran into who, that's it, we're done, okay? There's gotta be surveillance or video of some sort, no? I'm, I don't know, if the slopes don't have video of it, that's the only place in the world that has no cameras. So maybe if you want privacy, you go to uh, find a slope like this. But seriously, because he he's saying, she ran into me and I got the four broken ribs, etc. and she was reckless and I mowed money. She's saying, what are you talking about? You ran into me. Well, if he ran into her, then obviously he doesn't have a case. So all the jury has to do is forget about the vibrators and the goggles and all this stuff. You just have to determine who ran into who. Okay, yeah. and boom, that's the whole case. That's 100% of the case. Right, now uh, they have eight days to figure that out. Uh, I can't believe this is gonna be an eight day trial. Um, and also, you are correct, Jenk. So the whole point of bringing up the Paltrow, Taylor Swift uh, element is to see if she was inspired by Swift to counter Stew. For a dollar. For a dollar, yeah. Yeah, well. If that's the case, you should thank Taylor Swift. She could have countersued for a million dollars, right? And bankrupted the bejesus out of you if she's right, right? And by the way, don't ever get like, if you're ever on a jury, don't be biased, right? So I, I'm, as you can tell, 
Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow is not for me. She's for other people. Okay, <laughs> Goop is not for me. It's for other people. Okay, so, uh, but if you're on the jury, who cares what your bias is? Just is she right or is the other guy right? Period. Right? Can I just say? I mean, look, I get that it's the principle of the matter, and you don't want people to like take advantage of you because you're. Of means, right? Like, for instance, uh, Paltrow's company Goop is worth two hundred fifty million dollars, but the lawsuit uh, amount went from three million to three hundred thousand. I I think I would just I don't want to be on the stand. Like, I don't want to I don't want to do this. So I would just give him the three hundred thousand. No, you wouldn't. I know you. You'd fight, and I'll tell you why. Because look, if it's if it's a frivolous lawsuit, those are the most annoying things on. They really Earth. are, and I and, and she's already paid her lawyers. More than the 300,000, yeah, I guarantee it. But I would fight it and you would fight it because if you give this rando dude, if he ran into you, then you give him $300,000, then everybody's gonna run into you and ask for $300,000. That's a good point. Okay, so you gotta fight him, you don't have a choice. And why are people so awful? This I know. is why I wananna live in, Either way, it's in awful. a secluded We're place. Not, like, because if Gwyneth Paltrow ran into him and she doesn't want to give him three hundred thousand dollars when she's this rich and she broke the poor guy's ribs, etc., then she's awful. If the guy ran into her and then sues her just because she's rich, and he's such a that's he's awful if he did that. So one of them is definitely awful. Right, and we don't know for sure yet. So to be clear, we have not adjudicated this this case. We'll Absolutely. see how it plays out. I have out. no idea. Right. I'm not on the jury, I have no idea who ran into it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.